Oh, there we go. That was scary. Hey, Sean here from SpeedCubeReview.com. I have a package from SpeedCube Shop, and this came without me knowing. And I opened it up just because I was really curious on what it was. And we have a couple things. The jack-o'-lantern lube, and this looks a little different than before, so I'm going to test this out. But then we also have this. And there's a piece of paper in here. Whoop, hit the camera. So first let's look at the jack-o'-lantern lube and it says jack-o'-lantern is a limited edition holiday lubricant that is available throughout the month of October and it's expected to release mid-September. You can apply this lubricant to the pieces, core, or both. It's designed to give you a fast yet soft turning experience. This lubricant will be available in the bottle of 3cc and 10cc for 2019. We've also added a subtle October themed scent. That's interesting. Yeah, there was the um, candy cane lube that actually had a candy cane scent, which is really nice. Oh, I should turn on my lights. That's a little bit better. It says for speed, so it should be not so much of a gummy one. I don't know how it compares to the major ones they have that are the Nebula, Galaxy, and Martian, I believe. Um, so if we look at this, use at least four drops of jack-o'-lantern for best results, add more if needed. And we'll look at Vortex in a second, which is the other one. So this is my regular Vulk. I kind of just haven't used it in a while. It's the one that I fixed that had that broken piece. I made a video on that. So if you do have a Valk with broken piece, um, this has been working well for a while, but... So, oh, let's get a scent. Let's figure this out. Oh, that's awesome. It's like pumpkin spice. It's more of a spice, more of like a nutmeg and not so much super sweet smelling, which is great. And I found, same thing with the candy cane lube, that it kind of had a smell to it, but when you actually put in the puzzle and mix it up, the smell got stronger. For a little bit, you know, it lasted maybe about a few days to a week at most. But it got stronger as I mixed it up, and I think that was because that, I don't know, the, however the, the scent is in there, it kind of moves it around. But I'm going to move the microphone. Hopefully this doesn't get too much quieter, but just away a little bit, because I'm doing that weird, awkward behind-the-camera thing. So let's mix, mix this up. I want to say this feels thinner than uh, Martian, just from using it this little bit. Didn't really adjust speed too much. I can feel a little bit more gumminess, but that's about it, so it kind of has a nice soft feeling. But, uh, smells like, actually kind of reminds me a little bit of a like Christmassy smell, even though we have candy cane lube for that. I like that. That, it's, it's a very, I don't want to say homey, but it's very comforting scent. Um, okay, I'll do a solve on this, and I'll kind of just go onto the vortex, because I think that's why most people are here. So where did that go? Oh, it's right behind there. Oh, I hate when that happens. Come on. I can barely see with this. Try not to actually touch the table too much, too, because that's kind of a... Moving the... The camera around as well as the microphone. I have my stand that doesn't attach to the that that can actually have it more overhead, but I'm missing the adapter that can, I can attach the microphone or the camera to. So that's somewhere. Okay, Vortex. Let's look about this. So Vortex is our first core-specific lubricant and is designed for metal-to-metal -metal contact and will drastically improve the speed of your cube! Exclamation point. To use Vortex, we suggest removing the hardware and applying the lubricant to the screw head. Alternatively, you can just keep the hardware installed and add lubricant to the head of the screw. Staining of clothing, skin, or surfaces is not a problem with Vortex. It should be relatively easy to clean up if any is spilled. If applied correctly, Vortex should last the life of the puzzle. Vortex will be available in 3cc syringe with the possibility of other sizes in the future. So it says speed is 10 out of 10, 0 for gumminess, 9 out of 10 for heaviness. Um, using Vortex on the core, 4 to 6 drops. Oh, that's jack lantern Oh, that's with it. I, I missed that. A vortex should be stored with the dispensing tip facing upward. Use at least four drops of jack lantern Okay, I read that part. Okay. So, and now, I, what cube I should use with this? I have my Vault Power M, which is a little bit sluggish now, and I purposefully had done that with some lube on the pieces. Um, one thing I talked to Kevin about, the only reason I knew about Vortex, because this was new to me, was when I was asking him how he set up his Wu Shui Mini, because I was having a problem with that. And 
I'm currently taking my old one apart. If you've seen the video, you know that I had a lot of issues and then I I re I got a new one and it was really nice with very little lubricant. So I was actually going to clean this all out, but I have no time. So I took a few apart and put in this, this Tupperware just so I know I need to do this. So I'm definitely gonna add Vortex to this. For, now this actually, I might be able to add some without taking this all apart. I'm gonna do that for both of these. And first, we'll just do a little bit here on camera, then I'll turn off the camera and, and I want to just wipe out the pieces a little bit, even if I don't take this all apart. So let's do this. Let's pop this off. Okay. Now this is not pumpkin spice scented. I don't think. Nope. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is just put this, because it says metal to metal. So right here. I don't know how much to add. Come on. Oh, there we go. That was scary. Okay, that should be good. Yeah, that is very, very, very thick. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna place it like here so we don't have anything spilling out. Turn this upside down. Whoop! Oh, there's so much for me being cautious. So I'm guessing with him saying that you could just, uh, him meaning Cameron from Speaker Shop, applying it to the screw, you might be able to just reach it under and just put a little bit, but you'll have to put a good amount in or else, you know, to actually get it underneath there. So I would suggest removing this anyways. But okay, so you saw how I did that. I'm going to do the rest of it and then I'm going to also do this one and I will get right back to you. So I have set both of these up. I used the new Vortex on the screws for both of these. This is actually pretty easy to do for any 4x4. Just pop these caps off and then I put it inside of a bag to keep a little more secure. That way you don't need to worry about it falling around or trying to like get the screw out without you know all of this falling apart. And then I put a little bit of jack-o'-lantern in both of them. I wasn't going to do it for the whoosh way because I actually preferred this without any lube in it with the new one I got, but this one definitely needed something to help it turn. And as far as solves go, both of them felt, like it said, a bit faster. But one thing, it also just felt a little bit smoother. I don't know if there was anything specific that happened, but just with that, with them on the screws, it didn't feel as crunchy. So I don't know exactly what causes that. I actually was really reluctant to ever really lubricate the screw so much, but this kind of changes things for me. This definitely did help a lot. Um, I still don't like the Mini Wu Shui as much, at least compared to the full size one and some other ones on the market, but this turned out really nice. So I'm going to probably use up the rest of this, trying this on like a ton of different pots. You don't need a lot of it. I think I was at, three before this, so I've used, you know, about two lines worth. Um, yeah, I think that was right there. I don't remember exactly. But you don't need too much of it, and I don't know how much is going to be sold when the full one comes out. But that is Vortex and jack o -Lantern. If you like scented ones, the jack o -Lantern definitely is worth it because it smells really nice. Um, but if you also want a light lube that kind of, I, I don't know how it compares to Martian or solar like back next to each other, but it definitely is a nice fast one that won't really slow things down and you can put it in just for a nice softer feel. But yeah, excited for both these to come out. So this one said should be about mid-September. I don't know when this one's gonna come out, but hopefully soon, because this is really nice. Anyways, leave your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Hit like, subscribe for more content like this in the future, and as always, stop by speakbeview.com for more news and reviews.